wrote a letter to the church in Philippi. And this is what he said. In Rome, he was in prison. In fact, he was facing death, apparent death. And this is what he wrote in Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Now, so a person can be in prison, facing death, and he still can write to people, rejoice. He just trying to say that, place your mind, let your mind stay on God. He will keep you in peace in the midst of prisoners. He will keep in you in peace. I will say to you again, rejoice. Then verse 6, he is talking about how to think. Let's read together. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present what? Your request to God. Now verse 7. Let's shout this one. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now the big ones are now coming. Verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now hold it. When you are thinking, think about things that are true, things that are noble, that, that are right. What is pure, that which is lovely, what is admirable. Things that are of excellence and, and that is praiseworthy. Now verse 9. Shall we read the last one? Whatever you have learned and received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Now what have they seen about him? He was in prison, but he could still write to them that rejoice. There is no situation that you should allow it to crumble and to crush you. In the midst of fire, he has promised to be with you. So don't let the fire burn you and destroy you because God is with you. This year, 2022, it doesn't matter what you have gone through in the past years. God is with you. Come out from your cave. Face the facts. Stop worrying. Now, I don't have time, so I will reserve the last one for Sunday because I don't want to go beyond this time. The last one is also the most important. Do something about it. Do something about it. 